Jersey, I'm back at it. Just know I'm back at it. For real though, for real though, for real though, for real though. Yo, I'm so ill if you're thinking, drop curl, then you're mistaken. We ain't faking. Christ said that they send the dog and we're Satan. I ain't hating. We ain't lynched nobody, there's no debating. We're out doing the work by some sitting and waiting. They don't know the kingdom ain't coming by observation. You going on a quest or just going on a vacation. This the sequel to the movie Birth of a Nation. I'm What's your name again? Isaiah. My name's Isaiah. Isaiah, you? Samuel. And? Uh, what the, Jose. You're thinking about your name? What's your name? Jose, Jose. Jose. Jose from Guatemala, right? All right. And you said you're from where? Jamaica. And you? Uh, San Lucia, Caribbean. All right. So one of our one of our sisters, um, they, after a, uh, what do you call it? What was this? At the two, 2023 NBA All-Star Game, she sang something. Yeah. All right? I want you to read the top right here. It says, I sang. The fact says Julie Black about one word changed to O Canada at, at NBA All Star Game. Oh, All right. Yes, so, re so read this. I want you to read. So you know what it is about. Yeah, I know her. Okay, so bring bring us up to speed because uh, a lot of people in the States don't know what this what went down. What happened? Okay, oh, all I hear. Okay, bad. Cool boy. Bad. All I remember is that um, she changed the cat. She didn't change it. Well, she said that instead of saying um, our, home. our home, our native land, and native land, and native land, like she said, um, yeah, our home, our native land, instead of uh, the other the other version that it is right now. Right. So yeah, my mom told me about it yesterday. So y'all, you understand what that means? Exactly. Did you hear what he said? Canada. Yeah, so how does uh, the first stanza of O Canada go? Oh Canada, we stand on guard for D, something like that. It says our home and native land. Right? She changed it to our home on native land. On native land. On native land. I am Officer Azaniah. Uh, we're here in Scarborough Town Center with my sister. Margo. Margo. All right, so what we're discussing is what happened during the 2023 NBA All-Star Game with Julie Black singing the Canadian National Anthem. So what she did was she changed the words from O Canada, our home and native land. She switched it to o, o Canada, our home on native land. Margo, what do you think about that? Well, listen, she's right. right. But, you know, people are very sensitive about the anthem. Although some people change up the flag and nobody says anything, so I don't know, you know? Right. As you said, Margo, she is right and she was speaking the truth, but then what happens when you talk the truth? Well, people get an uproar and especially traditional, like, you know, anything with a, it's anything with Canadian, it's, a, it's an issue. All right, so you're here with Austin Nathaniel from IUIC TV. Uh, we're, we're shooting another Cuts from the Streets. We're in Scarborough right now. So we had some questions that we, the inquiring minds want to know. Okay, um, so you said your name is what? Ethan. Ethan. All right. All right. So Ethan, have you heard about? Have you heard about? What, what, what is this? Have you heard about um, Julie Blacks? Huh? No. No. Okay. So let me let me read something to you. Okay. So this is from CBC News. What, what does it say? I sang the facts. Says Julie Black about uh -huh. one word saying to O Canada at the at the NBA All Star Game. Right. So I'm going to read what she ha what happened. She sang O Canada home on Nate on native land, which emphasized on the word on 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 as opposed to um, O Canada our home and native land. She said on native land. What do you think is the importance importance of Julie Black saying that? This, we are on native land. What do you think the importance of that is? I'd say that mostly means we didn't originally come from this land. We colonized it from the indigenous peoples that originally lived on this land. And you use a, a big word, colonize. Who colonized? You and me? Because you and I live in Scarborough. I don't know about you. I, I don't colonize anything. Who? Co what, what, tell me a little bit more about colonize. I'd say colonize is in mostly the British and the French. Who are those people? Like, what, what do they look like? White men. White men. And, and, what do, and when you say colonize, what does that mean? They came to this land, they enslaved the people, and they, and they claimed it as their own. So we're here with Melisha 
Okay, so Malisha, we got a couple questions for you. And the first one I have to ask you, do you know who Julie Black is? Yes. Right? Now, what uh, did you hear the recent um, incident that happened at All Star Game when she sung the national anthem? What do you think about her tweaking it a little bit? I think it's a good idea. Right, it's a good idea, right? Because why? Why, why, would you, why do you think it's a good idea? Because we are on native land. Okay, okay, all praises, all praises. Okay, what else do you think about it? Because you know, she, she got a lot of backlash on it. She got a lot of uh, email saying, okay, she should go back to her, where she came from and all this stuff. There's a lot of hatred towards her. But what do you think? I think we all just have to get together and support her on it because I think it's a good idea. We are on native land, so. Right, right, right. Absolutely. I agree 100%. 100%. So my question to you is, my question to you is, what is the significance of her changing it to our home on native land? Okay, so our home, our native land says on. that it, no, the home, our native land says it's your native land. But that's not exactly true because when Columbus came to, uh, what do you call it? North America in 1492, he discovered the indigenous tribe and actually belongs to them. But then, who's them? Uh, the Inuit people and the people of North America, like the original inhabitants. And then, when they say our home on native land, it says it's not exactly our home, it's on their land, and it isn't like rightfully ours. Right. Do you, do you agree with that? That this land isn't rightfully the other nations, it's Native American land? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. All right. What have those other nations done that have come onto this land? Colonization. Colonization. Tell me more. What do you mean by colon? That's a large word. Colonize, what does that mean? So after like 1492, the Spanish people, they captured a lot. Wh which Spanish? Like Spanish like you? No. No, Spanish like people from Spain so like what like describe them what do they look like I, I'm inquiring minds want to know what do they look like uh, Caucasian light light skin white people what do you say white people no Caucasian people light skin yeah Caucasian people okay yeah so they actually came to this land for exploration and then they basically just uh, kept like gaining more and more control over like the southern parts and then France joined in then France joined in UK joined in I'm not sure if ne like the Dutch joined in. I'm not sure about that. I think I might have to fact check that. All right. So slavery, slavery over here. She said that. Um, can, can I get the comment? The the backlash that she got. God, this is this this is interesting to see what she what they put up. And also, she said the truth because the first people on this land, um, we call them the First Nations people, right? You know, in fact, the Bible records who they are. Also, we get into that. Okay, read this for me. Julie Black, you are proud to be a Jamaican, but you have lived in Canada for the past 45 years. Do you know why? Because deep down inside, you know that Jamaica is a crime-infested, drug-infested shithole. Well, well, you, you hear them comments? Online comments. Because she, she changed the words from and to on native land. Read on. Filled with uncivil jungle monkeys. You blacks need to move to and live in wild and white countries in order to have a higher quality of life and better standard of living. You, you hear, you hear that? And nobody says anything about that, right? Everybody's okay with that. Read on. You blacks are incapable of developing a first world country or even a first world city. Anywhere in the world, just look at the Caribbean and Africa. The worst countries in the world. And I wonder why, read. But while living in a white majority country, you have the audacity to single-handedly change our national anthem. Mm -hmm. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. When I see your ugly face, I see a manly looking, ungrateful. I don't like all that profanity, so all right. that's not Don't, 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 don't say the profanity. Do Read it. Ungrateful middle-aged black woman who is deeply conflicted and always hold a grudge against Canadian society because she grew up always as the darkest kid in the class. My friend, here's what I'm going to say about this. I'm All gonna, right. I want to say about this. Yeah, go ahead. It is no surprise that um, the deepest, darkest racism is going to come out mm -hmm. anytime any of us does anything. However, I will also say that sentiment is, although a lot of people might feel like that, I'm not ready to say everybody 
believes that. So yes, this world we live in, it's everything black people do, there are others, even if they love what you're saying deep down, yeah. they harbor racist feelings toward right. us. Right. Personally, I know that I live in this world, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to go around hating everybody. Mm -hmm. I know what my mission is. I know to whom I belong. And he loves everybody, even the ones who are saying foolishness like that. So for me, yeah, it's to be expected and worse. And a lot of people feel like that way. But I'm saying that is not going to change who I am and how I look at the world. Oh, no. Well, de definitely not. But what we're trying to do is to expose the wickedness that's going on here in Canada also. All right? You don't need to because dig deep. You do not dig to dig deep because it's against black people. It's against everybody. Right? It's, it's, it's plain, right? It's plain. So what are your thoughts on her saying that now... Um, now letting people know that this is our home that is on native land. What are your thoughts on that? I, I don't really, I don't really know. Pardon? I, I don't really know actually. You don't have any? I don't really have any thoughts. You don't really have any thoughts? Do you perceive this to be, um, this to be colonized land? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have a, a scripture. Come over here for a second. Um, go to Second Ezra on in terms of whose this land is, because the first the the First Nations, also known as the Native American man, woman, and child, they are actually our brothers. We are actually the Israelites, and they are our brothers. They are the Israelites from the tribe of Gad. You're from? Where's your father from? Trinidad. Trinidad, right? My father's from Jamaica, so we are from the tribe of Benjamin. They're from the tribe of Gad. This is how they got over to this land before the colonizers. Read that. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of O.C. the king. Right. One of those ten tribes was the tribe of Gad, also known as the First Nations people. Okay. Do you follow? Yeah. Read. Whom Salmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. Uh -huh. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen, and go forth into a further country, where never mankind dwelt. So they, the tribe of Gad would move from this land, from that land back in those times, and come to this new land where no one lived. Where is that land? That they might keep, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Uh -huh. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Mm -hmm. For the Most High then showed sign for them and held still the flood uh -huh. till they were passed over. Uh -huh. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a, of a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsareth. So the place that they landed at was called what? Arsareth. Arsareth, right? Um, can you find? Let's get out. So in the Bible, it refers to the, plant, the, the, the place that the Gadites, as well as the other nine tribes, would come to reside as the land of Arsareth. That's what it is labeled in the Bible, right? That's what you heard, right? What does it say in um, the Jewish encyclopedia? Now, also, what we're going to do, can you also you believe in the Bible? Yes. So we're going to show you that she's 100% right when she said this is the native land. You're also right yourself saying this is the native land. It's also written in the Holy Bible. Okay? Watch this. Come right. So this is uh, the book of Second Ezra. Okay, this is the book that Christopher Columbus, he read this passage and that's how he knew that the native was here and the conquistador, they all came here. Alright? Read. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners of their own land in the time of Osi the king, who right. Salmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive. And he so this is the ten tribes of the nation of Israel. Really? And he carried them over the waters, mm -hmm. and so came they into another land. Not, so that another land is speaking of here. Really? But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. Right. Where never mankind dwelt. Which is here. So that's how we know that the natives came here first. That's why also Christopher Columbus knew that they were here. Okay? That they might keep 
that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Right, because they broke the laws of God. They never kept their own statutes when they're in their land. Okay, read. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Mm -hmm. For the Most High then shoot signs for them mm -hmm. and held still the flood till they were, pa till they were passed over. Right, so they, they got some assistance from the Most High. He shoot them signs how they could get here. Now, when it comes to the Native American Indians, they're also one of the tribes. So they're, they're from the tribe of Gad when you read the Holy Bible. All right, so there's 12 tribes, right? Read. For through that country, there was a great way to go, mm -hmm. namely, of a year and a half. So how long did it take them to get here? What did the Bible say? A year and a half. A year and a half. Read. And the same region is called Arsareth. Now it says the same region is called Arsareth, right? Let's see what that means. Watch this. This is the Jewish Encyclopedia. Arsareth. Mm -hmm. The name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, right. in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. And that's what we just read, right? Observing the laws of Moses mm. until the time of the restoration, according to 4th Ezra, chapter 13, verse 45. Right, so that's what we're reading in the Bible. Yeah. Read. Columbus identified America with this land. So it says Columbus identified America with which land? This land. This land. And so, right, the native lands, also called Osiris. Read. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So that's it, right? So go back, you finished the... Yeah, that, that's it, right? So, yes, see, so we just wanted to bring this knowledge to our people that, yes, what was happening to our people in society, and we're getting a lot of backlash. Why? Because we're speaking truth. Truth, right? Truth hurts. So, just to bring the awareness that, listen, yes, she's 100% right when she changed that, because this is the native land. I want to show y'all something, because you said, that you said colonizers came to this land, right, and they colonized it. They everything that you mentioned and you said you labeled them as caucasian caucasian people let's hear about those same people uh let's go to micah 2 and verse 1 right because our sister julie black was saying hey this is we are on native land we are on our actual brother who's the israelite from the tribe of gad this is gad territory what does uh, the bible say about people coming and colonizing a land micah 2 and verse 1 this is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Woe to them. Woe. Does, do you guys know what woe means in the Bible? W-O-E. Woe. Woe. W-O-E. It means the... Okay, read it again. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Woe. What does woe mean? Dividing people. Nope. Do you know? W-O-E means destruction. Destruction, read it again. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Woe, destruction to those people that think about wrongdoings. Read. And work evil upon their beds. And work evil upon their European beds before they came over here. Read. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Uh -huh. Verse two. And they covet fields they do what and they covet fields I mean, so can I see the verse? come come over here yeah come come over here come 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 yeah go right here go right there go. Here? no 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 you oh. go right there come 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 in come show sure. so read it again verse two, uh verse two woe yeah read it. woe to them that devise quality and work evil upon their beds all right so it says woe unto them that devise iniquity now see verse two what does it say Verse 2, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So, so let me stop there. Let, let's stop there. Who came over here, took, uh, took lands by violence and coveted means that they, they, um, they wanted and they stole fields. Who, who did I'm that? Guessing was, I'm guessing it was like the white people, but like. What? Who? Did Tyrone do it as well? <laughs> but uh, I guess it was a Caucasian, like the white people uh -huh. and stuff, and you know. But that kind of happened in the past, though. Still, that ca that happened in the past. In the past. Yeah, okay, so past. I'm gonna pause you one second. Um, where do the Gadites or the the First Nation people live right now? They they live in in Canada. Whereabouts? Toronto, like everywhere in Canada. Uh huh. 
stuff and like kind of more of like a country where we all came together and stuff like slavery and stuff it happened in the past so let me ask you this question let me ask you this question because you seem like you're a historic a historian R reserves what is a reserve okay they actually do live in reserves like most of them uh like how many i'm not sure on the number but like majority of them they do live in reserves uh because it's supposed to preserve uh their lifestyle uh-huh so on those reservations do they have clean water no I mean, so does equality exist? It depends. Uh, it depends on who you are. So, nah. Does it uh, does it exist for the the North American, also known as the Gadite man? Uh, n no, yeah. not in like these stand. Wait, like North American, like original North American? Or yeah, like First Nations. So, do, do they deserve equality or do they have equality? Do they have equality with no water, wa no running water? Nah. nah, they don't. Okay, so oppression still exists. Yeah, to some extent. Yeah. Like oppression. Okay. Like All right. So the, the Mississaugas. What is the Missis? Do you know where Mississauga is? I want to pause you for the Mississaugas. Where? What is that? Where is that? The Miss the Mississaugas. It should be somewhere in, like like by the reserves. But who resides in Mississauga right now? The white uh, man. But you said to me that uh, oppression doesn't exist, that they don't covet fields. Yeah, but anymore, Mississauga, Mississauga yeah. is actually a tribe. Yeah. But who is in Mississauga right now? Ish. Immigrants. Huh? Immig Immigrants. What, what nation of people is in Mississauga right now? Okay, so like basically everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'm actually from Mississauga. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm actually from Mississauga. I just came to visit these guys. Like, who, like who's in Mississauga like, right who's now? Who's the predominant person that lives in Mississauga? White people. Okay. So what does the scripture say? Read it again from two and two. Micah chapter two verse two. And they covet fields and take them by violence, uh -huh. and houses and take them away. And they take houses away. Who who's the majority of people that live in Mississauga? White people, but even in, in the But Mississauga is a a, na a first nation. No, especially here it's against our people and the the, the first nations, right? They they're still catching hell and who they are, they're actually Israelites from the tribe of Gad. What well, what's your background? I am a Jam Jamaican parent, child of Jamaicans. Okay, so 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 you're also an Israelite as well, sis, from the tribe of Benjamin. Have you heard that before? Not like that. But listen, guys. All right, so let, let's bring out this scripture because I said something that um, Gad, the, the First Nations, they are the first on this land. They are native to this land. So we're going to bring out the scripture to prove that point. All right? Okay. Read on. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osi, the king. Who Salmoneser, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so they came into another land. All right. Okay, so, so they went into the... Just, yeah. What, what, is, what are you getting at? What is... Like, what's, what's the point that you're trying to make here today? Oh, we're showing, we're showing that the First Nations, they're actually Israelites from the tribe of Gad. So that, that's what we're bringing out here in the scriptures, okay, so you can hear so it, all right? All Christian people? Christian? Christian? What do you mean by that, Christian? Are you followers of Jesus? Yeah, yeah, we, we are, we're followers of Christ. We are the Israelites, sis. Not all Israelites recognize the Lord. Okay, no. yes, the elders and the Pharisees rejected Christ. We are the Israelites. That, that, that's what you ask, right? So I'm telling you that we are the Israelites. Okay. And you're an Israelite as well. All right, well, read on. Hold on, hear this? Who's about to finish? Go. I gotta go. You're listen, gonna, you're about to drift. Here's the thing. Here's all I'm gonna say. Hey, listen, I know my scripture too. Like I know my scripture. So you you know what we're about to bring out here? That is my Just, point. Let no, it come no, out. No, let no, it come listen, out. Hold on. Because all I'm saying is you have to read your whole say, word. Say say it you after. Read your whole word, well, we're we're almost there. We're almost there. A passage from Isaiah. Go ahead, read it. Like, but yeah. they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the heathen. And go forth into a further country. Into a further country from where? From North Africa. Read. Where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. This part of the world was not inhabited. Hear me out, hear me out. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the Most High then shoot signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. 
For through that country, there was a great way to go. Name me of a year and a half. It took a year and a half to go south, under Africa, and then come back up into the Atlantic. That is the most relevant? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Stick up in, stick up in. Just let's pay attention. Hold on. Read on. And the same region is called Arsereth. That region is called Arsereth. Read. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. All right. Now, let's see what Arsereth means. Read. The name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. All right. We just read that. Read. Observing the laws of Moses until the, until the time of restoration, according to Fort Ezra chapter 13 and verse 45. Columbus. Who? Columbus, Columbus identified America with this land. Which scripture Chris, are you reading this? This is the Jewish. He oh, just read the okay. Jewish encyclopedia. Okay, here's right? what I'm going to say. I'll so, say. hold on, hear me out. Margo, yes. hear me out. I hear so, I'm hearing you all perfect, right. perfect. I don't know where you're going. Uh, you need to listen, right? So, what we just established oh. is that yes. the Bible tells you who are the first people on this land. Okay. the americas it is the 10 tribes of the nation of israel so when the jew when julie black sang our home on native land she's speaking about the land here that belongs to the israelites who we call now here in canada first nations people okay I, you understand I'm not necessarily agreeing with all that you're saying because you're pulling a lot of things together here's what i do believe and i know what julie claimed yes we in canada uh, this land was not, uh, this land was taken like it was in Jamaica and all parts of the world. Oh, Jamaica wasn't taken. Colonized. We were, yeah, it was colonized, yeah. All right. So I, I understand that point, but I, I also understand that we now, not every, I don't even, here's what I'm saying. I don't even know the point that you're trying to make. What all right, you, you know, is, Sis, Sister Margo, Sister Margo. You are bringing, are you bringing love and peace? And Sister Margo. Yeah. We just read the scriptures yes. identifying how the First Nations people got here. You missed you missed you that read whole thing. A lot of things, but I don't know those things. And okay. I read my scripture. I know this book. I don't know that book. What book? This right here? No. This is all he's, he's he, this is yes. what we read. Okay. Right? Yes. And the encyclopedia, which is not we didn't write it. The encyclopedia, it the hold on a second. Hold on. It's it's not our encyclopedia. It's online. It's because you can see it's online. The Jewish encyclopedia. What does it say at the top? Uh, Jewish encyclopedia. Okay, read that. Arsereth, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of men, in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of the restoration, according to. For Ezra's 1345. Which is where he read from. Columbus identified... Colum um, Christopher Columbus. Identified America. What? Identified America. What did he identify? America. With? With this land. So, Arceris is also known as what? America. America. That is the true Gadite science. So, we are like North America. This is true Gad land. So, what she said was actually biblically correct. These other nations are on native, also known as Gadite land, right? As Israelite land. Yeah, but I Title. Guess for time, but still, like, even when it comes to, like, you know, like, even other populations out there, like the black communities, up, like, you know, like, we got, like, we got to do better and stuff, you know? Like, we got to, like, stand by each other and stuff, like, you know, we can't even, like, blame, like, we can't even, like, blame the white man no more. Like, you see all the rap violence and everything, like, you know, like, we gotta look at each other, you know, like, look at what the cops did to that black man. That wasn't white people, like. Okay, okay, okay. I know, so, like, like the what? reason, like, a lot of white people live in the houses is because, like, also what they do with their money, like, they stand by each other. Okay, so what was your name again? Isaiah. So, Isaiah says in Canada that there is no racism. I want you to You're come racist. over. You said it's equality and roses and daisies and dandelions and we need to run over into our Bollywood. Well, it depends on how you look I mean, at right? the world. Nothing is roses and dandelions. You can find the most free and equal country you always find something. Yeah, everyone has okay. their own Okay, so do you, perceive, do you perceive that Canada, Canada, all right, Toronto, Canada, that it's a free land with, without racism? No, well, we're not in chains anymore. Like, we are free to do what we want, but, like, we have to 
to have our own like willpower. Like okay. we can't just like not to play. the extent as before, but okay. So I want you to come here. Yeah. Read uh, the title here. What does it say? Conservatories are in no. shim. Read it. Yep. Yeah. Conservatories are in shambles. Conservatives. Conservatives are in shambles after singer remixes Canadian national anthem during NBA All Star game. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Is it later on? Uh. Which one was it? Was it? Was it the third comment? Uh. All right. Okay. Here. Uh. So what does he say? Some people will do anything for a headline. What a disrespectful thing with our national anthem. So this is a Caucasian man. Yeah. All he's, he remember this sister. All she said was our home on native land, mm -hmm. and his response was. Uh, some people do anything for a headline. What a disrespectful thing to our national anthem. What a disrespectful thing to our national anthem. So he's pushing that there isn't equality. This is not First Nations land. You follow? You follow what this person say? Yeah. It's right. So, overall, I mean, what we wanted to bring out to you is that y'all are the Israelites, that we, this is our land, right? And that we need to come back to our customs, all right? Cool. The last stage. Fix up. Roll on.